Hi, I'm Mike. Anytime we try something new on the ranch, there's always a learning curve, and I'm sure that today will be no different as we get a chance to put the AeroQuip chute, alley, and tub system through its paces, but not exactly the way we hoped. So in just a few minutes, this thing will be running like crazy on a little bit smaller scale on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Welcome back, and thanks for joining us once again. If this is your first time here, I'm glad you found us. We have a small family ranch here in Northeast Wyoming, about 5,000 acres, and yes, that's a small ranch in Wyoming. We lucked out and found you on YouTube, and we've been lucky enough to share our story over the last couple of years. If you haven't had a chance to get the backstory on how we ended up here on the ranch and the weird twists that life can make, I hope that you take a minute go back on our channel and watch some of our story. What you find might just surprise you. And if you like what you see, please subscribe and come along with us as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. We're basically a cow-calf operation. We have a breeding herd and each year calves are born and we do the best that we can for them until it's time to send them off to the, into the food distribution system where they leave the ranch. They head to feedlots, processors, and a, Eventually, yes, grocery stores. This is where the calves begin their lives. And I like to think this is where they spend a best part of their lives, with their moms, with us, watching over both of their shoulders and giving care and aid wherever needed. Normally at this time of year, the calves would already be gone. We'd have shipped the calves off in the middle of October, but with calf prices the way they are, and with the increased input that we had to make this year in the form of having to buy hay for their moms over $50,000 worth, this is gonna sound weird to some, but we can't afford to sell calves right now. The ranch is like any other business, and selling something for less than you have into it doesn't make sense. So we're holding on to calves. And two weeks ago, we weaned the calves from their moms. I'm happy to say that that went really well. We didn't have a single calf get sick. We didn't lose any calves. And the moms finally stopped bawling. And so did the calves, pretty much. The day the bawling stopped was a nice day for us and neighbors up to a mile away that could hear the moms and their babies. But now, in the silence, it's time to get them calves ready for the next stage in their weaning experience. Our goal today is to weigh and vaccinate all of the calves. Weighing them to start sorting them off and figuring out who needs what kind of diet in order to get them to the weight where they may actually be worth selling and vaccinations to help them get through this experience. Now in a perfect world, you would vaccinate before you weaned your calves and by waiting until now, we're kind of playing with fire, but the calves are healthy. And before weather starts to get cold, we want to boost their immune systems just a little bit. In order to get this done today, we have a little bit of work to do on the corrals. Our corrals are becoming what I like to refer to as Franken corrals, named after Frankenstein, who put mismatched parts together and ended up with a working monster, although a little deranged. Our corrals are much the same way, and they're really starting to work for us, not the other way around. We have a weird cross of wood, sheet metal, panels, and of course, a big, beautiful, brand new AeroQuip portable chute, alley, and tub right in the middle of it. We received this system from AeroQuip in exchange for testing, and we've done things with it that I'm not sure it was meant to do, mainly slamming it into our existing corrals, turning a portable system into a semi-permanent system. When we last left our corrals, we were still looking at how to tie this whole thing together and get the cows for preg checking this year into the AeroQuip. Plans have changed a bit, and now we're gonna be vaccinating and weighing calves, so our time frame has been accelerated just a little bit. More panels are what we need, and we can start moving our heavy panels into the corral to go from a gate in our center pen into the AeroQuip. The calves will move up this alley into the tub where they'll be introduced to the alley and shoot, hopefully. Now there's a lot of guesswork going on here. I don't design corrals. There are much smarter people than I to do that, but I can fumble my way through figuring out how a cow moves. Calves, however, you can't predict a calf. 
they, like teenagers, do what they want and consequences be damned. With a calf, the best you can do is make a suggestion and hope it works. Once panels are in place, we can try to figure out our scale. Now this is going to be a bit tricky and it might not work. My platform scale is good up to 600 pounds. All we have to do is put it where a calf will stand on it. We use it during branding, but not in a configuration like this. There's no place that a single calf is confined to a small enough area in the AeroQuip. Our only hope is to place it in the alley and try to get them to stand on it, but it's not looking good. The big trick today is that I'm out here all by myself. More often than not, I'm working solo. In fact, when we designed our corral system originally, one of the requirements was that I be able to work cattle by myself. Having help out here is a luxury and one that we don't often have. At the same time, we want to be safe, especially when working alone. And our current corrals, at least in their old configuration, made that impossible. There was no way to work cattle alone which made doctoring, preg checking, and even vaccinations so much harder. Now, with the AeroQuip system, we're hoping to be able to not only be safe, but be able to work more independently and when needed, not relying on help and extra bodies. I actually like working alone sometimes. It's freeing and it's relaxing, and it gives me a chance to bond with the animals and learn from them. As we move the calves into the pen where they'll be staying while they wait for their turn in the chute, it's a connection with the animals that's hard to explain. Our setup today is pretty easy. We have a small table with a notebook for keeping count, a syringe, vaccine, and our scale. By the way, when you're outside, forget about the pen, especially in the cold, and even the dirt will screw it up. Go old school. The good old number two. Good for tests, throwing at your friends, and it can still write while covered in manure. Before we know it, it's time for the moment of truth and time for the first group of calves to try out our system. Now even with the first calf, my scale, it's a dismal failure. It's almost impossible to get the calf to stand on it, and any weight reading that we get on it is going to be unreliable. Good news is that when you have the calves close up to each other like this, it's easy to see how uniform they are in size. That's a good thing. We have a few that are a bit smaller and a couple that are bigger, but overall they look pretty close. That doesn't mean we don't have to weigh them eventually, but we don't have to do it today. Running this thing by myself, I have to say, I was a little worried. But aside from climbing the panels over and over and over again to move more calves, it runs pretty smooth. It's quiet, which is really nice, and when the calves cooperate, you can get a pretty good rhythm going. The arm that you use to open and close the head catch moves the length of the chute, and once I figured that out, you can stand at the end of the chute and catch their heads from the back, and things got a whole lot easier. All you have to do is move forward to give the calves their vaccination, and then back to let them out. This chute and alley is thousands of times better than what we've ever had on the ranch in the past. 
I can't take all the fun for myself. And soon the whole crew shows up to give me a hand and everybody gets a turn at what they do best. Let's take the high road home. Why don't you come along? I know that we can make it. We pick up things and leave tonight. We'll take the high road home. Back where we belong. Give him a shot, right? Okay, so come on in. I'll help you out. Hey there. Squeeze it. In a little less than two hours, we ran over 130 calves through the new tub, corral, and chute. 70 of those I did by myself and without even breaking a sweat. Well, maybe a little bit of a sweat. You get to work at a pace that you want to and whatever you feel safe doing. Here's the thing. For years, turns out, we had an unsafe method of working cows and calves on the ranch. Having a new system like this shows me how easy and how safe it can be. And I'm not just talking about AeroQuip. In all brands, no matter which you prefer, the technology behind corrals, tubs, alleys, and chutes has made huge strides forward in the past few years. All brands are safer and working quieter, keeping cows calm and making your life easier. Even if you can't afford a system like this, there are tiny things that you can take from it and hopefully use in your own system. If you notice, cows can see all the way through this thing. It keeps them moving forward. It's simple things like that that might be missing from your system and making it harder to work with. If I would have known years ago, I would have figured out how to get a shoot like this a long time ago. Now I look back at all the times I fought cows and calves and I just, I just shake my head. Bye, Kenzie. After a while, the kids give up on us. Then they head back into the house. Aaron and I finish up the last few before the last calf goes through the chute and we can call it a day. Then all the calves can head on home back to their corrals. The calves are back where they're supposed to be. 
Uh, we had we successfully vaccinated almost every single calf. We did have those few that shot through, but that's part of that learning curve that I was talking about. Even while working all by myself, I've never had a better time working calves. I'm used to yelling and screaming. And honestly, by the time we're done, well, let me tell you this, I'm not yelling and screaming because I'm frustrated or anything else. I, usually you're yelling and screaming because you can't hear anything. And by the time you're done, well, I usually have a headache and I don't want to talk to anybody. Today is a completely different experience. I've, I've never had the kids that close while working cows or calves. Do you mind? I'm trying to do something here. And uh, I think that I can attribute the fact that the kids were there a lot to the calmness and the easy going of the day, which of course is directly attributed to the system that we're using in AeroQuip. This corral system, although they're portable systems, smaller than the normal system, it, it worked great with the calves. The scale didn't work as planned, but that's okay. I'll figure out some way to get it in there. And in the meantime, we have a safe and practical way to work our animals, which I'm sure we're gonna be doing many more times in the future. The next big test for the AeroQuip system is coming up when we preg check, which is just around the corner in a little bit over two weeks. So I'm gonna put this invitation out there. If you're gonna be in the area around the 19th, let me know. Maybe we can put you to work. Thanks once again. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a day from the ranch. Like us on Facebook and Instagram for extra content. And that's pretty much it for me today. I have some cleanup to do, but we do have some happy, hey, and healthy calves. I'm proud to be a part of that. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. And thank you for being a part of our Wyoming life.